So now I want to show you something I um, figure out you can do in Qiskit this morning. Um, so, you know, please be patient if it takes me a minute to get this right. Uh, but um, what, what we're going to do is simulate uh, one of the examples we, we had used in, in a previous video where we had, uh, you know, some, some qubit that would go through an ideal Hadamard gate and that would um, generate, you know, here it would generate the plus state, um, you know, uh, with high confidence. And then we were passing that through a noisy S gate, right? And, and in our example, um, this noisy S gate would apply, uh, you know, the S gate correctly uh, with 80% probability. And then, you know, apply uh, S dagger with 10% uh, probability, and then it wouldn't do anything. So equivalent to applying uh, the identity with the remaining 10% probability. And we said, okay, well, if we look at this in terms of, um, you know, an ensemble of states that we can possibly get here, we will get, you know, the state right, the state left, right? The, the state right you get when applying the S gate to the plus state, the state left when applying S dagger to the plus state, or we'll get the plus state if uh, we apply the identity. And, and with that, we have associated probabilities of eight over 10, one over 10, and one over 10, right? And um, in that video, we derived the, the density matrix, and, and you can go back and, and see how we did that, um, which was, um, was 0 0.5, 0 0.05 plus 0 0.35i, uh, 0 0.05 minus 0.35i, and 0.5, right? And and this is, you know, this is a contrived example, right? Uh, this is not something that that might happen in, in real hardware or in real life. It, it seems rather unlikely, but it's a good example just to get used to this concept of density matrices and how to generate them. So um, we can also uh, simulate this in Qiskit. So let's go ahead and get started. So just like in the previous video, what we're gonna do is uh, from Qiskit, we're going to import a quantum circuit, which is gonna allow us to define um, the circuit itself, right? Then uh, after that, we're gonna import um, qiskit.quantuminfo, just like before, right? As QI. And here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import a simulator. So in the examples we had in the previous video, what we were doing was using um, the classes from this quant in quantum info package and evolve them through quantum circuits um, directly. We weren't using uh, a simulator per se, but, but here, in order to extract the density matrix using these noisy models, we do need to use a simulator. So we're going to do from qiskit.providers.air, we're going to import qiskit's air simulator, which is like their standard um, standard simulator. It has many different types of methods you can use. Uh, so you can use it to emulate what would happen in a quantum computer. You can use it to simulate uh, state vectors similar to what we, we were doing in the previous video. You, we can do density matrices and so on. Um, and then we're going to import some noise um, models. So from Qiskit, again, providers dot air dot noise import a noise model which is what's going to allow us to build this noisy gate and then uh, something called mix unitary error which is what we are going to apply to this noise model to get the the behavior we want and uh, i think here uh, this is with a capital m and then uh, let's run that and then okay we have imported everything so the first thing is, let's try to build this, this um, density matrix that we just um, showed using the density matrix class that, that we showed in the previous video, right? Just to, just to show that, that we get the same results. So we can do, you know, let's define the left state as QI density 
matrix and again from label like we did last time we're going to do the left state and then let's do that for the right state and let's do that too for the plus state right the plus state and you know we said that um our density matrix row is given by you know with 80 percent probability the right state plus 10 percent probability the left state plus 10 percent probability or one tenth the plus state right and then now let's display that and make sure that it looks just like what we have derived and yeah and now let's try to construct uh this noisy gate that would generate this density matrix right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define um the operators that generate this this states so you know first we're gonna define the s operator using the operator class uh, we we looked into this in the previous video right and we're gonna use this from label s now to generate the left state we would need the s dagger operator but unfortunately this from label doesn't have a label for the s dagger but one thing we can do is in Qiskit, there is uh, you can take an operator and then use this adjoint method and that returns the adjoint of s which is um s dagger right and then we can define the identity the same way we did here above and then just change this with an i okay then we're gonna define the probabilities with uh which these operators get applied right so we said uh you know the probability of applying an s gate was 80 percent the probability of, of applying s dagger is 10 percent and the probability of applying the identity is also 10 percent okay and now that we have operators defined and their corresponding probabilities what we're gonna do now is define this noisy gate i'm going to call it s noisy using this method we imported here above called mixed unitary error in which you can pass a list of unitaries with associated probabilities of occurrence and we do that in the form of a list and that list has to have tuples in it so pairs of um, the operator and its corresponding probability so here in parentheses i have s and then its associated probability and then comma uh, s dagger with its associated probability oops sorry prob s dagger and then lastly the identity with its associated probability okay and we can print this to see how our noisy model looks like so here we have it so we have a quantum error on one qubit and it has the following noise circuits so with probability 80 percent apply here unitary unfortunately it doesn't print the s symbol but but you know we know that because we are um, uh, placing an s here this will apply an s gate and then with probably 10 percent s dagger and then here it does it does print the identity gate correctly so with 10 probability will apply that identity gate now what we need to do is we have defined this noisy gate but we need to apply that to a noise model so what we do is i'm going to call that model uh let's call it noise model noise m for noise model and i'm going to define it using this function noise model so this creates an empty noise model when, when i do this assignment and what I'm going to do here now is using this add quantum error um, method, I'm going to uh, uh, pass this noisy gate I defined, right? And I'm going to, I need to specify um, two things. One, to what type of gate do, you do I want to apply this error and to which qubits? Now, well this this quantum error i define it's already doing what i want the circuit to do right i don't i don't want um some other gate to on top of that um 
apply this, right? We, we've already defined that with 80% probability, we're going to apply the S gate. So if I want just to this be executed, I need to apply that just to an identity gate. So um, the way I specify that is with a list and I just specify identity gate and then on qubit zero, we only have one qubit. So, so um, that will be qubit zero. And then after that, what we can do is print that noise model. So let's do print noise M, right? And here we have it. We have a noise model with some basis gates. We know that the instructions that would be um, noisy will be just the identity gate, right? So if, if, I, if I implement a circuit and I place an identity gate, instead of just applying nothing or the identity gate, it will apply this um, noise model. And then, you know, with the qubits that to which the noise will be applied. And, and this is just a combination of these two lines up here. So now what I need to do next is define my circuit, right? So our circuit was, um, you know, let's define a, a quantum circuit, right? Quantum circuit only with one qubit. And then we had first an ideal Hadamard gate, right? Remember, um, first we apply a Hadamard gate to generate the state plus, And then we want to apply this noisy S gate, but our noise model is going to be executed on an identity gate. So I just apply an identity gate there, right? And then in order for our simulator to extract the uh, density matrix, what I need to do is tell this, um, this quantum circuit to safe density matrix. And that, that means that after these gates are executed, at that point in the circuit, it will, the, 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 when I run a simulation, it will save the density matrix at that point. And then I can draw my quantum circuit. And here we have it. So we have the Hadamard, our noisy gate, which in reality is an S gate with 80% probability, an S dagger gate with 10% probability and an identity with 10% probability. Okay. And then what we do is we run the simulation. So <clears throat> let's call it, you know, simulation, I don't know, density. And we call the, the simulator, the air simulator, right? And here we can specify the method, but because I'm already saving the density matrix, all I need to really pass is a noise model. So I need to tell the simulator, okay, run the simulation, but using this noise model, uh, noisy uh, gate. And then what I do is I, um, so this, this defines the simulator I'm going to use. And then I do, um, you know, for example, define a job. I can define a job, which is this simulator object. And I say, run it on my quantum circuit. And then I can extract the result by, um, taking this, this job that I'm executing and doing result. And here, um, unfortunately there's not a method to extract the density matrix directly. So I need to do, um, data here. So that, that would pull out all the data from these results. And finally, um, I can define my density matrix at the output. Let's call it, um, row S as result. And here I'm going to do get, um, density matrix. Okay. And here, I think, I think here actually, um, what I need to pass here, uh, the parameter name is actually noise model. And we had to find this not as a noisy gate, but I think we, oh, we named it uh, noise sub M. Okay. Let's make sure that's right. And then if I run this, um, it run the simulation. And now if I try to extract that, uh, row S, we can see here that it matches what uh, we had um, implemented here, just just uh, using this density matrix class. But now, you know, we're generating this using an actual circuit, right? So it starts with the state zero here at the input, goes to the Haramar gate, generates the plus state, and then we run it through this um, noisy gate, and it pulls out the density matrix. Now. One thing that um, might not be entirely obvious is that 
these simulations are all ideal simulations, right? We're, we're uh, just running uh, in the background. This is just doing the math to extract this. It's not like we're emulating an actual quantum processor with, with uh, a noise like the one we specified here. We could do that uh, if we run uh, a simulation with a measurement block and uh, then we extract the counts, but we will need to um, go through a process called state tomography to really extract the full density matrix if we were to either emulate this as if it was real hardware or actually run it in real hardware. Right, and, and try to see what the density matrix of a noisy device looks like. So um, that's it. So I hope, I hope this uh, is helpful. I just learned how to do this this morning. So um, there's still a lot more to explore. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.